10-year-old told by doctors she had 48 hours to live has miracle recovery. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Cancer is never an easy thing to face. Along with the person suffering from cancer, it also affects family and friends dramatically. Whether the cancer is fatal or not, it's always devastating to watch a loved one suffer. One form of cancer that many suffer from is leukemia. Leukemia is cancer of the body's blood-forming tissues including the bone marrow and the lymphatic system Usually leukemia affects the white blood cells our white blood cells are supposed to protect us and our immune system With leukemia the patient's bone marrow produces an irregular amount of white blood cells and messes with the way his or her body runs There are many different forms of leukemia some of which are much more serious than others But all forms are extremely devastating Well, we're seeing more and more treatments for cancer it still affects the lives of far too many people. We can only hope to find an honest cure in the near future. Many people get very lucky and find their way to remission. When someone beats cancer, it's one of the most beautiful things that can happen. It's extremely common for people to believe certain scenarios could be considered miracles. There have been many stories where people have been given a certain amount of time to live, hanging on by a string, and then on the brink of death, they miraculously recover. In certain situations, things just seem too wonderfully odd to not be a spiritual gift. Some things happen with no reasoning or explanation, and it just leaves everyone in absolute awe. The most recent miracle story involves an adorable 10-year-old, Abby Furco. Her story is traveling all around the world, and no one could believe the way her journey ended up. In fact, even her doctors had no explanation for what happened. Just when everyone thought they knew what her future held, they were shocked with a miraculous surprise. When Abby Furco was born, her parents were absolutely ecstatic. After nine long months of waiting for her arrival, she was finally born as their little angel. Through all the love and excitement, Abby's parents never could have expected the awful devastation in their near future. The first four years of Abby's life were wonderful. Her family had a normal, happy life without a worry in the world. While the first few years of her life were great, things took a devastating turn when she was four. Her family never could have imagined the path their lives took. In 2011, when Abby was four, she was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia. With this specific diagnosis, the Furco family remained hopeful, but also had to mentally prepare for the worst. Over the next six years, life was very tough for Abby. She spent her days going through constant treatment. This included chemotherapy, radiation treatments, and a bone marrow transplant. Abby went through way more than any child should have to experience. Somehow, things still managed to get harder. After Abby's diagnosis, her family was trying to do anything they possibly could to give her a happy life. Constantly worrying that your child won't get to live a long, full life is not an easy thing to deal with. However, the Furgo family chose to stay positive and vowed to make every day of Abby's life as pleasant as possible. In 2013, the Furcos received a ray of hope. Abby's treatments were finished and she was declared cancer-free. No one could believe this miraculous recovery as it was extremely unlikely to have happened. Little did they know at the time, though, there was more devastation in store for them. When Abby was released from treatments, she finally got to experience the life of a normal kid her age. She began playing sports and she joined the Girl Scouts. Her family was ecstatic to see Abby so free and happy. Unfortunately, the fun didn't last long. Only one year later, Abby's cancer returned. In fact, it came back much worse than it had been before. Just when this loving family thought they had their healthy daughter back, they received the devastating diagnosis. According to JesusDaily.com, Abby's mother, Patty, stated, As hard as that first diagnosis was, this one tested every ounce of our being. She became completely immobile. Any movement hurt her and she hardly spoke. When Abby received a second bone marrow transplant in 2015, things continued to get worse. After the second bone marrow transplant, she was diagnosed with graft versus host disease, which is a condition where donated marrow begins to work against the body. This is when they received the worst news they could have possibly expected. After the failed bone marrow transplant, Abby was placed in intensive care. This was because her kidneys began to fail. When the doctor informed the family, he was also delivered the worst news they could ever receive. This was the moment that the Furco family's world turned upside down. 
Abby's doctor devastatingly reported the news that Abby had 48 hours to live if they were to take her off dialysis. With this news, Abby's family began to prepare for her death. They placed her in hospice, and her grandparents flew in to say one last goodbye. According to Wavy.com, Abby's mother, Patty, explained, I had to choose a funeral home, and we started talking about caskets. We were already grieving her passing. She was still with us, but we were grieving. We brought family in. We had hundreds of people through here that week, of everyone that loves her. She continued to say, Our pastor was here every day, and our hospice nurse was here every day, and we were just waiting for the day that we believed she'd wake up. But there was something in her that no one knew what it was. When the family decided to bring Abby home, she was surrounded by loved ones at all times, because they knew she'd be passing soon. Abby's family threw her a big party for the last night that she'd be with them. Then, a miracle happened. The next morning, Abby woke up. Everyone was absolutely shocked as the doctor was so sure that she would not make it past 48 hours. While no one could believe what was happening, the most shocking part was the seven words that she whispered to her mom. When Abby woke up, she whispered, I have so much living to do, to her mother, Patty. Although that moment seemed like a miracle, they had no idea how miraculous it would truly turn out to be. And that moment, the ray of hope returned. In a matter of days, Abby was walking again. As months passed, she got stronger and stronger, defying all odds. Abby is in remission and is as healthy as ever. Doctors are amazed that they have absolutely no explanation for Abby's recovery. Many people would call this a miracle, as there is no scientific explanation for it. Now Abby gets to live a normal life with her loving family, and every day is a gift for them.